Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. As you can see, we've got Darren Pittman's 2014 Great Clips Sprint Car for Casey Kane Racing. Um, this is my second Darren Pittman car, as I have his 2018 Ion um, Sprint Car. He, he only ran that for about half a season, so a little less, but uh, this one obviously was a full-time ride. Um, I only one I'm missing right now for his KKR rides or his 2015, and then any of the really, really limited releases for like Knoxville, uh, some of the Razorback ones, but, um, you know, just slowly chipping away at the KKR cars. Um, I did get to see a really, really cool, uh, custom online or not online. It was on a uh, Facebook. Um, but it's of one of, uh, Cody, uh, I think it's Dara is his last name. Um, but his number four Ollie's outlet scheme, which was really awesome. So, um, hopefully I'll pick up some of those customs as time goes on, but, uh, that one's in Australia. So a little ways away, but anyway, let's get onto this die cast. So, uh, it comes with a standard box. I don't have it out here. Um, there's no custom art on it. It's just got the stickers. So no sense of going through that, but this is the only one I have that has this kind of unique chassis to it. So we'll get into that. I kind of got to move that to the side so I can get my camera a little close. And there we go. So that way I can get my hands over here. So in with this scheme, we have the white and black Great Clips uh, scheme, which is actually one of my favorites. I really like this scheme um, with the white, black, and kind of colored. Um, it was actually one of my favorite iRacing schemes when I did that for a couple months. Um, then I realized iRacing is... <sighs> I don't want to say a ripoff. They have a really great service, but it is really expensive. I, you would be spending, you spend a basically 120 bucks a year, and you still have to buy every other item within the game. So it's not like it's just a subscription and you get to race at all the different tracks and stuff. You have to pay, I think, to have all the content or most of the content available. Um, you you could easily end up spending over 10 to 15 grand, and I can't. It's fun but i can't spend that much it's just not not an not an option for me so anyway um i never got to drive a sprint car on there but this was my favorite paint scheme they had it for a truck so anyway let's get on to the details so we got the great clips we got it's going to be great sure point freightliner uh, factory cane great clips on the side there uh we got the number nine here and up here with that neon green looks awesome i love this black with neon green i think that's one of my favorite color schemes um Back when I used to race go-karts, I had a full black cart with neon green and white numbers, and I always loved the black on neon green. I thought it looked great. Um, anyway, we've got Sage Fruit. we got ASE, Pittman. Um, we got Great Clips up there on the top of the wing. We also have Pepsi Max up there on the very top of the wing. Um, really, really good looking. This is probably one of the better looking uh, sprint car die casts in terms of the way the decaling turned out um, with the gloss color and everything. This is probably one of the best uh, that I have. Um... The, in my collection. So let's go ahead and we'll pop the top wing off. Um, there we go. Pop that off. So this is actually a really unique uh, part of this this die cast is this is one of the only ones I have with this current ch with this chassis. So the wing is the same, uh, the front wing. There's nothing different with the front wing or the top wing, but the difference comes in from the chassis and hood. So on this one, the hood is actually within the bar. So you can see how that hood is kind of skinny and long and most of the time it goes on the outside of the bars with two holes this one actually goes inside the bars um, and goes all the way around the top then we also have these two plates here um, with the little decaling in here that is not in the other ones either so just a unique model I don't know if this was a 2014 exclusive um, or if it was just an older uh, you know chassis dot model that they used or I'm, I'm not on a hundred percent sure on it but it's definitely unique. As I said, this is the only uh, of the sprint car die casts I have. This is the only one with this chassis model to it. So um, again, I, it's it's cool. I really like it. Um, you know, it's unique that way. Um, and you know, I do probably like the ones that go on the outside of the bars better. But this one does have a longer hood. So you know, just one of those unique things. I like these plates here. Um, you know, it's 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 kind of fun to have some different ones. So. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and pop my wings back on there, but, uh, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. There's really not a ton I can show off on it. As I said, I'm, I'm slowly kind of chipping away at getting all the KKR cars. Um, I've started to really get into dirt racing, not dirt, I mean, I've, I've watched the, the Chili Bowl last year. I didn't get a chance to watch it live this year. I was really happy Kyle Larson got it. I'm sick of, I mean, I don't know. The best way I can put it, I love NASCAR, always have, but I have gotten really sick of the fan base in a lot of ways. 
Um, especially this last weekend, Kyle Larson had won the Chili Bowl, which is a huge, huge deal. I mean, there's 300 drivers that go to this this event, and he finally won it after 13 years of trying. Um, and everyone was throwing a fit that he's not quote unquote focusing on his NASCAR career, and I think that's the most ridiculous statement people can make and i'll have a video about that separate i'm going to start doing more news not news more opinion pieces in my videos at some point um, i know most people don't like those but i think it's a fun way to start a good discussion between fans that's you know the way i keep my channel it's going to stay civil we're not going to get all stupid about it um where we call you know call drivers names fans of drivers names anything like that we're just going to go after uh, more of the racing uh specific so um anyway That'll wrap up the review now that I got the wings back on. I can get it back on my shelf right next to the rest of my die cast. But um, that'll wrap it up for me. So thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. It always helps. Um, I'm going to work on getting a little bit more stuff done on this channel here soon. So stay tuned. Fingers crossed. This will be a growing channel. We'll get to do some new stuff here in the future. Um, I'll give you one quick sneak peek before we finish her off. And this will be our uh, our next group of videos. So I'll be posting this one on um, Tuesday night, very late Tuesday night. And then um, the rest of those reviews will be coming out through the weekend. I'm going to go snowmobiling, so I might share a few of those videos just for fun. So you guys can kind of see what that is and why I'm so passionate about it and I love it so much. So, But anyway, back to the diecast. That'll wrap it up. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next diecast review.